this does not work for you because your bills in order to survive minimum without doing anything outside of what we just talked about, 3094 and you bring in with overtime working minimum 50, mid 50s a week, or yeah, sorry, a week, 3,120. 3,120, meaning you have $26 left over. $26 left over. So this is what works for me? Mathematically, no. Mathematically, you're getting... <laughs> Math is fine for you. Okay. So does it work for you? Like I said, it's not... I'm not living, I'm surviving at this point. Exactly. So it's so. clearly not working for you. So will you work to get a better job? Build that resume. Maybe get certified. This isn't a quick fix. Don't don't get me wrong. I'm not saying go get a better job. It's super easy. So this, this, this is what I mean. Like, I'm not going to like quit cold turkey and like no. try to find something else. So what? the goal is to that. pay off debt, get out of debt, and then like, okay, career-wise, then start looking. Yeah, you have $26 left a month before you spend more hours doing uber and doordash so this debt situation uh currently takes uh, quite a few lifetimes mm -hmm. so no that doesn't make sense you need to increase your income so you can increase the debt payoffs like i said a lot of this stuff is from the month before i know it's a stupid say the stupid saying like this is a different month but i wanted to I don't get, I don't have. No, no, no. You're right. It was a different month. What I'm saying, I'm not including <laughs> that kind of insane spending. Yeah. I'm saying the minimums for you to survive gives you only like $26 a month. That's the minimums. That's not you, you living before. You living before, you have negative like $2,000 a month. So no, I know it's a new month. That's fantastic. If you follow this very strict restricting budget, you have $26 left. You need to increase your income, get a job that pay. Even you getting a job that pays exactly what you're getting paid now, but only for 40 hours a week, so you can do the rest with another job, that's great, because then we can use that other job as just debt money, debt money. But right now, you're working mid-50 hours a week for this. If you worked only 40 hours a week in your job, you'd be going further into debt, because you can't afford your minimum expenses. So, I don't know if, if I can explain it to the way that you're going to be able to understand because you've already like... Go on. You don't see it the way that I do. Well, I see and, the math. And, and see, math and this breaks is, through all the... But go ahead. This is why I'm here. Yes. Right? I need somebody else to look at it from an outside but, point but of view. But you're pushing back on everything. You're not accepting anything. I'm listening. <laughs> okay, but you're not accepting. Are you going to go get a better job? I am eventually. Eventually. What, why, what's eventually? You said after getting okay, out of debt, but you'll never be out of debt. What's not eventually for you? No, no, no. Because you're not eventually. You, me saying eventually, it's like, okay, probably in the next six months, probably in the next year. Not in the next year. We can't do next year. This interest will be continuing to accrue. When Assuming you're I'm only hours. making the minimum payments. You can't afford anything else. You have twenty six dollars. Again, that's just my base pay. Yes, no, no, no. I'm not including anything that I'm doing extra. You include it over time. You include it over time. I'm always doing overtime. Exactly. So this is fifty five hours a week. Mm -hmm. So if you work, but that gives you less time to go do Uber Eats. Plus the the very far commute back and forth. I get off at four every day. Plus the very far commute and back and forth. And then the forth. weekends is only half a day on Saturday. You already are on on Saturdays. So what I seem to not be able to get through is if you worked 40 hours a week, nine to five, all that extra time could go towards Uber Eats and you could bring in so much more from that. Right now, so much time is dedicated to a job that you are not making no. good money. So no? I work from six to four Monday through Friday. With the big commute and you work on Saturdays, sometimes half days. I, I get off at 12. Where's all this overtime if you work nine to four? Because I, I work from six to four. Six to four. I mean, that's still not a lot of crazy Six to overtime. 12 on Saturdays. Still not a lot of crazy so overtime. So it gives me plenty of times to do other stuff. Okay, how much on average girls. have you been bringing in Uber Eats? Right now, Uber Eats. No, oh, DoorDash. What would you say? DoorDash, okay. So I haven't done any DoorDash. I, I went crazy on DoorDash last year because my dogs got attacked. And I had to pay for all of that. Oh, jeez, yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, what I have been doing is uh, Spark. And if I, have, I know. So where you rent out your car? No, it's a uh, Walmart delivery orders. Oh, okay. 
And uh, I know that if I, like, actually, like, get down and, like, bust my <laughs> in the weekends, I could bring an extra two to three hundred dollars a week. Even that, even that's what I make. That's but because there's, like, either spending time with the girls or I'm just not, like... That's the thing. I, I want you to be a mother and be able to do motherly things. So if you get that other job where you're working 40 hours a week, making what you work now, six days a week, five and a half, or whatever, plus the extra time, you will. this gives you more time. I don't know why you're pushing back on this job thing so much. Some people subscribe to their jobs like it's, it's a religion. It's not. It's a place that I'm, pays I you know. for your time. Go get a better one that pays you better for less time. That's all it is. Again, is the whole thing with being a single parent? What? What are you going to... How I are you going to try have, to make that um, an excuse? Because... Come on, that's an excuse. Come on, go ahead. So, if the kids are sick or if I need to leave or if I need to do something, I can just go and do it. Yeah. There's not like, hey, asking for permission or... Because I don't... Okay. There's nobody that I have to pretty much answer to. I will say this. I will say this. In the grand scheme of the world that exists and all the children that exist and the parents that have jobs that exist, children get sick. Mm -hmm. Do you think no one else anywhere is able to deal with their kid when they get the stomach flu at school? Or are you the only one at that only company in the world? You're right. There are shitty jobs that exist. I am not saying go get a shitty job. You will talk about the workplace culture. You will talk about your kids in the interview process. You are going to be selective with the job. On this side of the table, I never once said go get any job. Go get a shitty job. Go get a terrible workplace culture job. You are going to get a job that works for your life that fits better. And you might have to search for a while. But the thing is, you just need to start searching and do it instead of just subscribing to this job like it's a religion. If you want to watch the full episode that this clip came from, click here. Or if you want to watch another clip that you might be interested in, click here. And don't forget to subscribe.